everyone. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the history of computer networking. So let's go ahead and take a look at the material. So we're going to look at a timeline that starts in the 1960s and then goes into the 2000s. And if you look at these basic chunks, there's actually a lot more history than just these elements. But I'm just going to cover some kind of major breakthroughs in computer networking that really moved the industry forward. So the first one we'll talk about is packet switching, which was developed in the 1960s. Then we'll talk about ARPANET, which was really some of the early foundations for the internet in the 1970s. Then we'll talk about TCP IP, which is the underlying protocol which runs the internet today, and that was developed in the 1980s. Followed by the World Wide Web, which we're all extremely familiar with, which was developed in the 1990s, and really the advent of the internet as we know it today in the 2000s. So let's take a look at each one of these areas in a little bit more detail. So the first area we'll talk about is packet switching. Packet switching was developed in the early 1960s, and it was designed to replace expensive and inefficient circuit switching. And these were the state of the art at the time was point to point communication and it was very inefficient and you had to lay connections to every conceivable point that you would go to. And so packet switching then eliminated that complex hardware. It was developed at MIT, the RAND Institute, and the National Physics Laboratory in England. And this really formed the basis of the next generation of work, which was TCP IP. The next area of growth for networking was the ARPANET. And ARPANET was developed in the late 1970s by the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, or DARPA. And it was initially a collaboration between military and university research computers. If you look at the figure of the, on the right-hand side, this is a logical map of ARPANET from March 1977. And the project grew to hundreds of computers in the early 1980s. And the structure of ARPANET really provided the basic model for the internet today. So let's go ahead and look at our next area. So the next area that we'll talk about is TCP IP. And TCP IP is the underlying network traffic protocol that's used on the internet today. It stands for Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. And TCP IP was developed by two scientists, Vent Cerf and Bob Kahn. And it uses a layered structure, which I've displayed here on the right-hand side, to break the protocol into logical layers that support different areas of transmission and also applications. Requests for comments or RFC standards, this allowed TCP IP to move into the public domain. So these RFC standards are maintained to develop standards for the internet. And this is one of the first standards that was published for TCP IP. And it's really the basis of network communication on the internet today. So the next area we'll talk about is the World Wide Web. Tim Berners-Lee, who worked at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, invented the World Wide Web, or WWW, in the 1989 to 1990 timeframe. And CERN and Tim Berners-Lee also developed the first web server. In 1993, CERN opened the code for the web servers and the browsers to the public community. So that really fueled the, the growth of web servers and that type of technology. And once the software was in the public domain, it really provided that basis for the explosive growth of the World Wide Web and the Internet. In summary, we've looked at some of the high-level technologies that eventually became the Internet as we know it today. This is obviously a condensed timeline, and it covers just the highlights that has happened since the 1960s. But much of this development started in that time frame, and it has built a basis that has become the standards uh, such as TCP IP, which are protocols that are in use today. So that's really it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like the material, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's it for now. Thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.